Good morning, all. And let me start by saying that it's um, awesome to be here in this community of professionals that are interested not only in progressing their knowledge, but uh, in sharing knowledge with the wider community and beyond. I am uh, Valentina Balkan, and uh, I am a former student of uh, Bucharest's Faculty of Geography, which um, kind of uh, draw, uh, driven, drove me to um, reminisce and uh, acknowledge the long process it took for me to arrive. And I want to leave you with that image of a learning process in mind and resources necessary to um, arrive to an end result, because I believe that serves as a good introduction into the topic and um, purpose of the two projects I'm here to present. So the story did start in Bucharest, but I am here representing Evenflow, which is a young company of eight based in Brussels. And uh, we are specializing in commercialization of R&D results, communication, outreach and uh, marketing, and of course, strategy consulting. This um, positions us as a uh, service provider for the Copernicus-based value chain, uh, which entails EU institutions, European agencies, and of course, last but not least, the private sector. As you can see, there are several projects in our portfolio, but I'm here to present eShape and Parsec, two projects that we believe are of interest to this community. And um, in our opinion, they are of interest to you, the phosphor geers, because they look at those essentials necessary to move from idea into implementation. And these are understanding not only your user requirements, but above all, understanding the environment you're going to operate in. And that's the market regulations, uh, the trends, and uh, um, whatever policy priorities there are. Of course, you will need access to capital because especially in the early days, that's going to be challenging. Uh, progressing your ideas and there might be um, funding schemes available out there you may be unaware of. Making, most, making the most of the technology available and the tools uh, necessary to um, uh, exploit, to put to use the data, the free open, source, open data uh, Copernicus has and offers is also uh, very important and once your product is established you will want to scale up, which means move into new markets, which may be um, um, working and abiding by different regulations, which you definitely need to know in order to be able to do that. So you have here the two websites of the projects I'm here to present. That's e-shape.eu and parsec-accelerator.eu. And I will now focus in on eShape, which is a pan-European effort um, intended to scale up already existing EO-based applications. Uh, OK. Uh, where do I need to sit? Here? OK. Uh, sorry for that. I was uh, indicated that I'm supposed to stay put. I tend to move around a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> um, eShape. Uh, as I said, um, is a pan-European effort which um, spans 54 partners which have different uh, experiences and um, um, address different uh, needs in the value chain. And they've come together to uh, make the most, to make sure that um, the 27 pilots that are at the heart of this project will um, have successful user uptake. This means that uh, co-create and co-design environments will be set up so that the pilots can work together with their end users so as to produce and develop new um, EO-based services and products uh, to thus guarantee a faster and better user uptake. Um, this process, the entire learning process I was mentioning also early, earlier, 
is going to be then captured and um, uh, best practices and as well as guidelines will be produced and shared with the wider community so as to allow replication and of course um, ensure the long-term sustainability of EO-based solutions. Um, I think that um, if you're interested in um, the learning process overall, you can already uh, start uh, following our website, which is um, yet early stage as the project was launched in uh, early May. Um, because there will be published, um, there we will pl publish all the deliverables we will be producing. And another thing of interest to you is the fact that at some point in the project, eShape has uh, a mandate to onboard new pilots. And should you have ideas in um, the seven thematic areas uh, presented here, but I don't think you can read them. And that's, um, <laughs> that's uh, food security and uh, agriculture sustainability, health surveillance, renewable energy, uh, water resource management, disaster resilience, ecosystem monitoring, and climate monitoring. Unfortunately, the slide, the slide doesn't show the entire information. Um, so should you have um, an interest in these the uh, thematic areas, do follow us as you um, uh, might be interested in applying um, and become a partner of this um, project. Um, the most uh, important, let's say, product of the, um, um, of the project is going to be the uh, Sustainability Booster, which uh, is a series of deliverable, deliverables which will address exactly those uh, essential needs the developers would need to move from idea to implementation. And as I mentioned, these uh, tools will be shared with the wider community in order to make sure that uh, the sustainability of EO-based solutions um, stands a better chance. The second project I'm here to introduce is uh, called Parsec. And it's in practice an accelerator as it, uh, it's going to distribute 2.5 million euros to um, accelerate um, 15 new ideas which, um, which need to uh, be really disruptive and new and uh, come in support of the food and energy and environment sectors. The selected disruptors will benefit from coaching and mentoring, including a bootcamp, uh, tools that will help them overcome key barriers and as well um, information and uh, insight on technology and uh, market. The way um, the project is set up uh, entails a call for ideas and we expect to receive something like 350 ideas. So do help us to uh, spread the word so that we have uh, really, really valuable ideas into uh, the funnel. Um, these will then be evaluated peer to peer and a top 100 ideas will be identified, which will then enter a very intense period of trainings and um, um, interactions so as to ensure the ideas grow into uh, projects and uh, uh, scalable uh, products. A second phase is uh, going to be um, dedicated to consortiums, the consortia, which means that um, either the um, participants of the first uh, stage are expected to group into teams or they can uh, bring outsiders into the mix. Their ideas are going to then be pitched in front of a uh, panel and um, this panel of professionals will decide the 15 ranking um, ideas that stand the better chance of making it into the market. Once these are identified, they will receive 100K and um, 
I think this will help you visualize the entire process. And um, uh, this will also um, make position them better to, uh, um, to attract venture capital further. So, um, these two projects, as I uh, said, to just round up uh, the entire thing, I want to leave you with two main ideas. eShape is an opportunity to become a partner and learn from highly experienced um, companies in EO observation. And uh, Parsec is a program which may be your answer to progress your idea and make it uh, become the next best thing, thing in EO. Thank you. So, who wants um, two and a half million dollars or some of it? It's quite nice to see money uh, being shown in these events as well and opportunities to apply for them. Um, are there any questions for Valentina? I know she ran off. Um, you shouldn't let her off that easily. <laughs> Yes. Right, so uh, like for the startups and the people with ideas, is it like 100% funding? Can or? Take the so yeah, basically, the, the question is just whether. Uh, you so, right. you just come with your idea in the first phase? Yeah, sorry, I'll just repeat the question. So the question is whether the funding is 100%. So it's very often when you get EU funded projects like this is like 85% or whatever, which is very often a problem for people with ideas that There's like, you know, start from nothing. Yeah. conditions attached to uh, getting this money and um, the terms and conditions will be published on the website parsec-accelerator.eu. Um, I can't go into details now because um, for in to, to ensure, you know, a fair no worries, uh, okay. competition, you you're only allowed to publish the terms and conditions at one point in time when everyone will have access to them to ensure that everyone has access to the same information at once. Okay, cool. I, I was just trying to make sure whether this 2.5 that Stephen mentioned is actually 2.5 or <laughs> is yeah, it just fraction? Uh, sorry? Is it across 15? 15 projects, yeah. yes. It's across cool. 15 projects. Okay, thank and you. of course, uh, you also need to um, think that the first 100 will get 10K. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. So, yeah, it's still a lot of money. Yes, please. Hang on, hang on. Thank you for the presentation. I'm Ramona Pelic from uh, Luxembourg Institute of Search, uh, Research. And um, I have a question. The next call in uh, eShape, will you have a next call? I don't know exactly how there's it works. There's only going to be one call mm -hmm. in eShape, and that's going to be uh, <laughs> uh, beginning of the uh, of next year. Mm -hmm. And for this one, there is going to be an open call, so everyone can participate. And that's going to happen uh, beginning of autumn. Okay, and the um, deadline for the proposal submission will be for Parsec? Uh, mm, I cannot tell you, okay. but there's going to be enough time for people to be able to organize themselves mm -hmm. and, and okay. participate. Okay, thank you. Is that it? Okay, thanks again. <laughs>